Hi, welcome to this Power Query video. My name is Ahmed Oyelo. And in this video, I want to show you how you can use Power Query to connect directly to a file that sits on a web page or a website. Okay, so for example, looking at the Central Bank of Nigeria website, we have uh, a link that has details of exchange rates. So if we click on this link, it basically takes us to this other page. And uh, on scrolling down on this page, we see that we have an Excel CSV file that contains historical exchange rates data. Right, so this has history. And it also has current okay so for example you you have the exchange rates as at today's date as well as uh maybe a couple of years back from now now what a lot of people do is they come right here to this page to download this particular file every time they need to update those reports that depend on these numbers now, instead of doing that, you can use Power Query to connect directly to this file such that whenever there is an update on the file, which we would expect to happen every working day, that's Monday to Fridays, then you will always have that update directly impacting on your report simply by clicking on one refresh button, right? So I'm going to use Power Query to connect and you know you can use Power Query on Excel, you can also use Power Query on Power BI, but for this demo I'm going to be using Excel's Power Query. So let's jump over to Excel now. So from Excel, you want to come to the Data tab and of course you know you should be using Excel 2016, 2019 on Office 365 for you to have the same uh, features that I have here. So from the data tab, you go to either get data, then from other sources, we are going to find a connector to web, or we can also just click right here on the shortcut to connect to web. Okay, so let's go with the shortcut. So now I need to supply the URL of the web page that I'm going to right? However, we are not really connecting directly to a web page, rather we want to pick a file that sits on that web page. So this is how we are going to do this. So I'm going to come over to this file and I'll do a right click on the file and select copy link address. If you just click on the file, uh, left click on the file, you are going to download this file, right? So do a right click to copy the link. Then we go back to Excel to supply that link in our URL box. So back to Excel, I'm going to paste that link with Ctrl V. Then I'll click OK. Now this is what we get to see when uh, we import this to Power Query. Not to worry, all we have to do now is to select the type of file that we are connecting to on that web page, right? Okay, and we have two options. One is to simply come to this file icon and select Open As. Then we want to select CSV document because this particular uh, download is a CSV download, right? If it were to be text file, Excel workbook, then we would have gone for other options. We can even go for uh, a PDF if it were a PDF document. That's one option. Click on this file and select CSV document. The other option, which could be faster, is to right click on the file you see on this uh, gray canvas right click on this file and just select csv and that's it we already have the data in power query the only thing that may be left for you to do is uh one or two transformations that you may want to do on power query but we're just going to assume that this is okay for now then once you're done you want to go back to the home tab and click close and load and this lies our data and every time you need to update you only have to come and uh, come to data tab and refresh and if you want to automate this process just click on the drop down on refresh all button select our uh, connection properties and we can check this box that says refresh every then we specify the number of minutes that we want the data to be refreshed we can also check this box that says refresh data when opening the file so that every time we open the file newly we want the data to be refreshed automatically and that's it 
okay so if you like this video make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel so you can always get prompt updates when we have new videos